Hey guys, Zix here. Time for another episode of Mind Saga Sky Block. Today we're gonna do something a little bit different. As you can see, we are not in full screen, and as you probably saw from the title and description, we are looking at console client today. I've decided to go ahead and do a full-on tutorial. First things first. Before we get started, you're going to want to follow the link in the description and download the files if you do not have them already. Uh, you will get this folder. You will have to unzip it. Um, I don't know if I want to need necessarily need to show a tutorial on how to unzip it, so figure that out on your own. Once you unzip it, uh, you're going to have everything you see in here. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on Accounts, left, sorry, right click, select Edit. You're going to change the IGN to your in-game screen name, or I'm sorry, actually this is email. <laughs> I thought I was prepared. I wasn't prepared enough. Email uh, for your account and then your password. You are then going to close that and hit save. Now, technically, from this point forward, your console client will now work. Done. You're, you're, you're ready to go. However, if you want it to do some fancy stuff, uh, there's a few things that you're going to have to do. Uh, it would be helpful if you watch my other video on console client where I show how to script. Uh, but I'm actually going to give you all of this stuff already. So all you have to do is make some simple changes. However, it still might be helpful to watch that video anyway, which I will link in the description. So when you open this, alt launch dash task, uh, you're going to see all of the script handlers uh, that it's going to be calling. Um, I have them all currently turned off in case you do not want them. In case you do want them, uh, we're going to go over them real quick, what they are, what they do. First, we have a sell all script. Uh, if you want to activate this, all you have to do is remove these three pound signs. This will now be active. We have an auto co-op script, which is set to 120 seconds or every two minutes. To obviously, again, if we want this back on, all we do is uh, take away those. Um, but we also are going to need to open this, and you're going to need to put the IGN that you want co opt. Obviously, not the IGN of the alternate account that you're AFKing. The, like for me, if this was my Zix alt, I would put Zixter here. Uh, now, for some people, uh, every two minutes is annoying because it's going to show up on your screen a lot. Uh, if you watch Let's see if I can see. Oh, I have all my alts off. That was stupid. That was stupid. Because uh, I was going to load them all um, on camera. But anyway, you'll see it every two minutes. and It can get annoying if you have a lot of alts. I just don't pay attention to it. So you might want to add time to this, like another zero. And now it's you know every, what, 10 minutes. Uh, so uh, next we have a payout script uh, where if your alts are the ones collecting the money and not you, uh, these will now automatically pay you. To do this one again, remove the pound signs. You're going to open alt payout. Uh, you're going to put your IGN in here. Now this is in here twice uh, because back in the day you had to send it twice to confirm. That's not a thing anymore. So you really only need that once. Uh, but you're going to put the IGN if you want. Uh, paid and change the amount to what works for you. Uh, this is set to 10 million every 15 seconds, um, which many many of you may not be making quite that much, so you may not want to wait that long uh, for a payout, uh, in which case just adjust these numbers accordingly. Then we have all of our crate keys that will automatically transfer. Um, Again, as I ex explained in the previous video, I have these staggered at 10 second different intervals. That way they don't overlap often. Uh, they're still going to overlap occasionally as, as, as the time passes, but they won't overlap enough to uh, disconnect your alt. Um, now, if you're going to do these, you're gonna to wanna to do every single one of these. Uh, not all of the crates are very common. Uh, like for example, well, the basic key, obviously is a common one. I'm trying to find one. Okay, five, yeah. Gambler, like Gambler, for example, that doesn't come very often. So uh, you may not even 
bother with this. I don't think they've ever given gambler keys away except for when they introduced them. But either way, you're going to go through these. You're going to unpound them, uh, and then you're going to um, go through each one of these individually and change the IGN to the IGN you want them transferred to. So I'm going to go ahead. Did I change? No, I don't want. I don't want those changes. This change I'll keep. Another thing um, that you want to do um, is name the folder of the alternate for your that you're loading. I mean, this is just my basic CC folder that you're going to get. There's no account attached to this or put in here. But each one of these is all of my accounts uh, that I can potentially load. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and load all of them right now. This is Alt Jemima. You don't want to load them all right away uh, because there is a four second timer between lo uh, uh, logging onto the server. If you, if you try to log too quickly, it's just going to boot you. Uh, so I wait until I see you are now queuing. That's about good enough. We load them all. We make sure they all loaded. Sometimes it doesn't work, so you have to check. There it goes. It's six alt. Will AFK for food. I'm so creative with my naming. Zixalt2. See how creative I am? Zixalt2. Nobody could have thought of that. Nobody but me. Okay, that's it. All five are loaded. That's all you have to do. It's very simple. Um, download the files, change this, and then change these settings as I described. Uh, Right there. Oh, of course. Of course. Can't have a Mind Saga video without a dumb dog barking in the background. But that's it. Um, I think it's short, uh, so I'm going to probably check out a couple of warps uh, after I sign off. Um, just so that I put a little more content to the video, and it's not only console client. Wow, it's pretty terrible when the... When the chat scroll takes up the whole window. There we go. Thank you guys so very much for watching. And as always, take it easy. Here we are at Gen E6. Gen 6. Jenny 6. Gen. Jenny. Gen. Gen. Jenny. Gen. Jenny. Gen 6. Jenny 6. It is a ski lodge. Pretty cool. Pretty well done, too. Um, quite authentic. I don't know if you've ever been to a ski lodge. I've been to several. I love skiing. It's one of my favorite favorite things to do, despite living in Florida. Um, she even did a snowplow. I didn't see this when I came here before. Oh, cool. She did a map. Overpriced paladin. Um, well, that's, that's a really cool idea, because when you go to a ski lodge... I, mean, I don't know what this is supposed to be for a ski lodge, but when you go to a ski lodge, there's gonna they show a map of the um, facilities. But you can see she spent, he, she, see, she, I think it's a she, Jenny, right? Spent a lot of time on this. Um, this is really cool. Uh, it's, there's even, there's lifts with Zix's fat <laughs> as one of the minions. Nice. <laughs> um, I mean, she, I mean, maybe the lifts could have been a little bit better. Because uh, it's just like a pole you hold on to. I've never seen a lift like that. But still, cool. Uh, I, I like I like the rest of it. Uh, and we are going to go all the way up here. Oh, it looks like it's not quite finished, huh? But you can see by the cobble, that's, this is done by hand. She's not... Uh, this is not Somatica. She put all this snow in by, by hand. And I don't know where the actual slopes are supposed to be. Because you get off here, and there's not really a defined slope. Maybe she should have, like, trees around. Sure. It's still really cool. And then we're, we come back over this way. Oh, okay, see, these are lifts. So that looks, that looks like a lift. I don't know what that is or supposed to be. Maybe I need to go skiing. <laughs> And this carries all the way over here. 
all the way. She put a lot of time into this. This is really cool. Which, I mean, this is clearly not done. But still, really cool. Good job, Jen. You, Jen, Jenny, Jen, Jen, Jenny, Jen, Jen, Jenny, Jen, Jenny, Jen? Oh, I never saw this. What's this? Nothing. Good work. Looks cool. Anyway, uh, that's, this is, is Warp Jen, J-E-N-N-E-6. Oh, I guess I didn't see this one. There's another one. But no, this isn't finished. Uh, that's it. Okay, let's have a little look see at Cobra Crafter. Cobra Crafter? Cobra Cobra Craftor 2023. Zyland. Starts out with a pretty impressive tree. Um large. Large tree. Ooh, that's kind of cool. It's almost like a yeah, it's a windmill. It's interesting that the windmill part's on the bottom and not on the top. Maybe it's like a steampunky thing. Hmm. Mm hmm. Looks pretty cool, nonetheless. I like the use of white wool uh, on that. Uh, it's an uncommon uh, use. Oh, it's a spawner. Well, it was a spawner. It's not a spawner anymore, but it was. I like when people build something you unique around spawners. It's pretty cool. There's a spawner in here. It's pretty small. Doubt it. No. Oh, that's solid. So it's like um, like a castle built around... Oh, the exterior is not really done. Built around um, this giant tree here. Oh, there's something in here. It also looks like a spawner, but there's nothing in there. Maybe it was at some point. Yeah, I don't see anything. Definitely a spawner of some kind. Maybe it was an XP farm. He's got this little courtyard with these, uh, with this like castle like structure around the sides. Got some storage boxes and some minions down there. There you go, I was trying to get inside. It's not too bad. Certainly looks like it took a long, long time to build. Maybe he's planning to do something else out here. He hasn't gotten to it yet. Not a whole lot of design going on inside, but these uh, little um, wood in between the stone offset, that's a nice little touch. Uh, I also would be curious to know if this was a Schematica build or he built it by hand. Uh, to be fair, it kind of looks like it was Schematica, uh, but I don't, I don't know that for sure. There's something up there. Didn't go up another floor, I don't think. How do you get over there? This just leads back outside. Hmm. I'll just look through the windows. Well, that's kind of a cool effect. You know, it's just pretty standard bedrooms. Nothing schmancy. Nothing fancy schmancy. Okay. Oh, I didn't see this. That's nice, too. Yeah, not too shabby. Oh, I didn't see this. What's this? Oh, that's cool. With the that's cool. I like that with the button on the end of the log. Oh, there's not nothing going on here. Cool looking house though. Anything over here? No. That's it. Cool little nice little island. Cob Cobra Craftor. Got some value box down here. Got a little ways to go to catch up. <laughs> What's this? Oh, uh, a, a cobblestone farm. Hey, any way you can make money will work. Not a bad place. 